Would you like to know the real truth about your ability to manifest multiple outcomes at the same time? Would you like to know the secret, the truth, about how it works, why it works, why you haven't been able to get it to work, and what you can do beginning today to manifest all of the dreams that have escaped you? Yes, you can manifest multiple things at once, and did you know that that is the true nature of how Law of Attraction genuinely works. It is no longer about small wins along the way. It's about one outcome and one outcome only. That is the big dream. Today you are going to find out how to wrap it all up and to move ahead and possess it. And we're starting right now. So come on, let's kick straight on into it. Hi folks, welcome to Elevate for another day. My name is Ben. It's such a blessing to spend time with you every day. I hope that these messages encourage you. I hope they uplift you and inspire you. And I hope that if you are new here, or if you're a repeat viewer, but you've not subscribed, I hope you'll subscribe. I'm here every day, folks. The analytics suggest that about half of the people that watch these videos and tune in regularly aren't subscribed. So if that's you, go and hit the button. It's not going to cause you any inconvenience or cost you any money, but it will help grow our family and help us join our energy together as we join in the great awakening that's happening all over the world. We raise our vibration together. We step out in faith and possess our promised lands. Now I know that you've got a dream inside of your heart. Now I know that there's a lot of moving pieces. And so often people reach out and they say, Ben, and there's all these moving pieces to my dream. Can I manifest multiple things at once? And we get into a conversation and invariably the conversation always goes something like, well, I want this and I want that and I want the other thing and I want to know how I can manifest them all. I want healing in my body. I want restoration in this relationship and I want a windfall in the lottery. I want a new house and I want a new car and I want a new career. Now, here's the issue. People have been told that you cannot manifest multiple things at once, and even coaches who acknowledge that you can will quite often encourage people to segregate the dream and concentrate on one thing at a time. Let me explain to you why, because there is no malice in their suggestion of this. In fact, on paper, the suggestion of this method does look the best. In practice, well, there's a better way, and we're about to come to that. But see, these, these people who say that you shouldn't try and manifest multiple things at once, the mindset behind that is that where your attention goes is where your energy flows. And they say that you should really have a very pinpointed position of energy when it comes to manifesting. You should zone in on that thing, focus intently on it so that it expands and consumes your view and all of your energy is poured into that one thing and you continue pouring energy into that one thing until it manifests. But did you know that that very teaching, as noble as it may be, and as correct as it may seem to be in its explanation on paper, it's actually doing you a disservice. Let me explain to you why. A dream is so much more than one little thing. A dream encompasses so many moving pieces. And for a dream to become reality, it relies on the other moving pieces. See, you might have a vision for your life that says, I want this career and I want this car and I want this house and I want this relationship. And you've been told you've got to manifest one thing at a time. So you start working on the relationship and you try so hard to manifest it and you just can't make any headway. What you don't realise is that maybe that relationship came as a connection through the job, the job which you aren't considering focusing on manifesting yet because you want to manifest the relationship. You've been told to focus on one thing at one time. And so it doesn't work and you get in this perpetual cycle of, I can't manifest this job. I can't manifest this relationship. But the relationship comes from the job. 
See, people often reach out and they say, I have this dream to move to this community and to fulfill this purpose in my life. They focus in on one thing. They focus in on the starting to fulfill the purpose in their life. But they don't realise there's a connection to be made that is directly linked to the new community they feel drawn to within themselves. You see, manifestation encompasses so many moving pieces that to segregate each thing into its own dream and make it responsible for its own outcome robs it of all its power. See, a vision is all-encompassing. This is the difference. A dream is just a flight of fancy. A dream is one little pinpointed moment in time, but a vision comprises many dreams. The scripture says, where there is no vision, the people perish. You have to have a vision for your life and a vision for yourself. And that vision encompasses all of your dreams, the vision you have for yourself, living in that home, in that neighbourhood, in that job and career, in that financial abundance, with that person in that relationship, with the harmony, with the restoration, with the car, with the travel, with the health, with the new you, physically embodying a new shape. You see, it's a vision. And your vision includes all of these dreams. But if you just concentrate on one dream, you single it out. But that dream relies on the energy of everything else within the vision to be made manifest. Can you see now that because you are segregated in your dreams, you are segregated internally. We have to come back to a place of wholeness and oneness. We have to come back to a place where we are total and complete in ourselves. Oneness. We are whole. Our dreams are not many and varied. We have a vision for our life that encompasses and includes every dream and every moving piece. And it is whole and it is one. We have to come to a point where we can find harmony. Internal segregation, splitting up all of your dreams and focusing on one at a time, it creates disharmony and disunity within. What we need to be moving towards is internal peace, it's harmony, it's inclusiveness, it's oneness within. When you can stop the segregation, everything comes together in one vision. When you have one vision, you can wrap it all up together and manifest that vision. So here's the key, and don't miss this. The key in making this work is to stop trying to manifest the dreams and start looking to manifest the vision. See, when you are sold out to your vision, you know that there are a lot of moving pieces. You know that there are some things that are going to happen in the journey towards realising that vision and living in the fullness of it that you maybe didn't even think of along the way. So when something comes up and it, it gives you a sucker punch, well, the weight and the impact of it is not the same. When something comes up on your journey towards the vision that you weren't expecting, it's, it's easier to deal with. Because you know that a vision comprises a lot of moving pieces. And what is meant to find you will find you. What is meant for you in this moment will be with you in this moment. So if it's not with you in this moment, it means just one thing. It means there's a little bit more journey for you to go through before that thing will come and find its home with you. Keep focused on making it welcome. Keep moving forward. Don't make it happen. Don't go out and chase dreams because all you do is you just chase them away. Sit, be still, be present, be focused and allow the dream to come and take residence with you and in you and through you and it will. It's part of a great big vision. A dream has to bring with it all of its friends from the vision. You can't pluck it from obscurity and say, I choose you for today. You just can't. But when you allow your dream to bring all of its friends, when you allow the vision to come in fullness, when you focus on the vision, not the singular dreams, but all of the dreams that are included in the vision, when you focus on that, that's how you manifest multiple things at once. Folks, it's really easy. It's the way it's supposed to be. Get a vision. 
Get a vision for your life that shows how you will live in that end result. Watch yourself on the screen of your mind, living in the end result of that which you seek, until that which you seek begins to seek after you. It's the easiest way to manifest, because it's how manifestation was always supposed to work. This is why the scripture says, where there is no vision, the people perish. It has never been about manifesting an individual dream. It has been about manifesting the totality of the vision. Combine all of those dreams up. Combine all of those moving pieces, wrap them all up together in one vision, and hold on to that vision. Seek after it until it begins to seek after you too. Make it welcome so that it will come and dwell with you. Become the person that you know you will be when you live in that end result. Think about the end result that you are shooting for and think about a day in the life. Think about what you will be thinking about, how you will be talking, how you will be treating people. Think about the things you will be doing, saying, thinking, the lessons you have, will have learned, the wisdom you will have garnered. And start striving to become that. Live in that end result. And that's how you make your dream welcome. That's how you make your dreams turn into a vision. And your vision to come and dwell with you. Folks, give the video a thumbs up if it's blessed you. Think of someone you can share it with too. This might be the thing that sets them free. Make sure you come and join me again tomorrow. Because that's all I have time for, folks. Before you find something else to do today... Have a look at either of these two. They're going to show you some more moving pieces to seeing your vision come to pass. I love you. Peace.